you were reborn, but now it's time to grow. Becoming a Christian was the greatest thing that ever happened to you, but that rebirth entails that there will be growing pains. This will cost you everything. If the preacher didn't tell you that, then he blew it. It's not about you anymore. And if you think it's okay to go back to living like you used to, it's not. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And he said to another, follow me. But he said, Lord, permit me first to go and bury my father. But he said to him, allow the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim everywhere the kingdom of God. Another also said, I will follow you, Lord, but first permit me to say goodbye to those at home. But Jesus said to him, No one, after putting his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. It's time to get restless with the way things are. It's time to learn. Learn from the Bible. Learn from the great men and women of God who've gone before you. Learn from your mistakes and learn now. Respect that many of your new brothers and sisters can teach you something, but test everything in the church culture against the Word of God. By the way, you'll likely have failures, but if you're planning to have those failures, or planning to be okay with them, or you ever think it's not that big of a deal because at least you feel bad about it, you're doing it wrong. Saying a prayer with a preacher is not a one-and-done box you check before going back to the way things used to be. It's a paradigm shift in everything. And at times you'll come to God over the same sin so many times that you'll feel like He just doesn't even want to hear it. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It's always better to run to God than away from Him. If you stay faithful, you may find yourself so fascinated with God's Word that you even find yourself rejoicing with some believers while arguing with others. It's fine. It's okay. As long as it doesn't get out of hand, it's actually beneficial. Just stay away from the jerks who try to divide the kingdom over minuscule issues. Don't give them the attention they crave. You may face skeptics who are open to hearing the truth. If you do, reach them. That's your job now. And don't listen to anyone who's trying to rationalize otherwise for you. You might face skeptics who aren't open and just rage against the faith using catchphrases that they pilfered from atheist propaganda material. What scum like you needs is a lesson you won't forget. Pray for them, but don't let them rattle you. This kind usually don't know what they're talking about. And you'll meet frauds who compromise the truth over every social issue that our nation supports. Don't buy into it. Such would rather please man than God. You're reborn now, but you were born on a battlefield. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Spiritual warfare is happening and we need you. Live your life for him and it'll all be worth it. But even if it weren't, even if there were no promise of life everlasting, even without the complete joy coming, you've joined the ranks of them who are no longer living for themselves. We live for him. That's why we were reborn. 